In this video, as we starting up June 2024, I'll provide a briefing on the latest Fallout 4 mods that you absolutely must have starting with Snow Project Chinuo. This ensemble combines yellow and white harmoniously, with white embroidered dots on the upper chest as its distinctive feature. Given the name Snow Project, it seems the creator aimed to evoke a snowy theme in the attire, which also aligns well with Fallout 4's aesthetic. The shoes have a somewhat mechanical feel, adding further personality to the outfit. While the creator's character exudes a whimsical cute, I found it equally fitting for my own character, providing a fresh experience. I recommend checking it out. Next up are Obi's Vault Tech and Nuka Cola shirt, along with the GBG Rigster sneakers. First, the shirt features stylish designs with Vault Tech and Nuka Cola logos. As for the shoes, they come in various colors of GBG Los Angeles Guess Rigster sneakers. I tried wearing the Nuka Cola red shirt and the pink sneakers, and it gave my character a casual yet fashionable vibe. The combination of casual wear and the decorated Vault Tech and Nuka Cola logos fits well with the game world. If you usually prefer a casual style, I recommend trying out this outfit combination. Next up is the Vault Tourist outfit. This mod draws inspiration from the Fallout show and introduces new protective gear, masks, and helmets. The accessories stand out more than the actual outfit, especially the camera hanging from the left hip and the torn right shoulder. Notably, this outfit can be worn over a top and it pairs exceptionally well with blue Vault Tech pants and a white t-shirt. If you're a fan of the Fallout TV show, I highly recommend giving this outfit a try. Next up is Tumba Jamba's Heavy Kevlar Armor. This mod adds helmets and armor that both male and female characters can wear. It's quite lore-friendly and would fit well in Starfield, too. In Fallout 4, it gives off a cool vibe, almost like something a security guard would wear. Even if the player uses it, it still feels great, and visually, it appears to have high defense. The items are automatically added to your inventory when you activate the mod and load the game. Next up is Vita Synth High Mobility Suit. The Vita Synth High Mobility Suit adds a sleek outfit reminiscent of synths, featuring a white design that accentuates the body's contours. This mod provides a cinematic feel and high quality design. You can craft it at the chem station, and it supports both CBBE and body slide, as well as adjustable heel height. Each part can be worn separately, allowing for customization to suit your preferences. Give it a try if it catches your interest. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a few F4C related mods. First up is the Show All Armors and Outfits, F4C. This mod is an F4SE plugin that fixes the default code, which prevents equipped outfits from being displayed in NPC trade menus. With this mod, when you trade with an NPC and press the Take All button, you can also take the outfit the NPC is wearing, causing the NPC to be left without clothing. If you've ever wanted to wear a specific NPC's outfit but couldn't, this plugin will be incredibly useful. Since it doesn't require an ESP, you can install or uninstall it at any time during your game without any hassle. Next up is the No More 3D Loading Screen mod. This mod removes 3D objects from the loading screen. It operates as an F4SE plugin, utilizing only the script extender without requiring an ESP file or game scripts. You can install or uninstall it during gameplay. And if you'd like a cleaner loading screen experience without the clutter of vanilla 3D objects, this plugin is worth considering. Next up is the Workshop Highlight Fix. This mod makes workbenches more visible by enhancing the clarity of selected objects. By default, it completely disables the shader effect used when selecting objects on workbenches and instead highlights the objects with an outline. This allows you to clearly see what you're crafting at the workbench. Next up is Toggle Equip. This mod allows you to toggle equipped items in the game. Now, when you remove leg armor or gloves, you won't need to check your pip boy. This simple F4SE plugin lets you conveniently equip or unequip items using the same equipment key or the favorites menu. Plus, since this mod doesn't introduce game records or scripts, you can safely remove it anytime. 
Regarding the environment, there's a mod called MCOC, Manhole Covers of Commonwealth. This mod adds both steaming and non-steaming manhole covers throughout the Commonwealth area. Although it currently doesn't cover the DLCs, these manhole covers are naturally placed around the entire Commonwealth, enhancing the game's atmosphere. Considering the post-apocalyptic setting, having manhole covers in the Commonwealth area seems quite fitting. While it might be considered a luxury for most places to have access to hot water after a nuclear war. If you enjoy these kinds of mods, feel free to use them. In this segment, I'll introduce notable weapon mods. Among them, let's start with the MW223, Pulamayot 762. This weapon is a belt-fed medium machine gun chambered in 7.62 mm providing excellent suppressive fire and dealing significant damage at long ranges. It comes with a default magazine capacity of 125 rounds, but you can enhance it to 200 rounds through modifications. The Pulamyot 762 offers various customization options, including bipods and tactical scopes. If you're a fan of medium machine guns, consider adding this rifle to your collection for its unique reloading animation and overall outstanding design. Next up is the BH Russian Grenade Pack. This mod adds 15 high-quality Russian, Soviet-style grenades and mines to the game. It's designed to maintain balance within Fallout 4, providing unique effects and features for each explosive device. From the F1 Lemanka Fragmentation Grenade to the PMN-4 Pressure AP Mine, you'll experience more tactical combat options. Plus, you can craft them at the chemistry station, Next up is the World War II Soviet DP-28 LMG mod. This mod adds the Soviet DP-28 light machine gun to the game. The DP-28, also known as the Degdyaryov machine gun, was one of the infantry weapons used by the Soviet Union during World War II. This rifle is a new remake of the creator's first mod and features animations inspired by the American 180. It can be crafted at the chem station and supports various customization options, including three front sights and three bipod options. If you prefer Soviet World War II rifles, consider adding this rifle mod. Next up is the BH PPSH-41 Cursed Edition. This mod adds a unique variant known as the Cursed Comrade to Brutahood's PPSH-41 submachine gun mod. The variant features parts from Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, and Call of Duty, Vanguard. It cannot be crafted, you'll need to acquire it through ESP Explorer or console commands. The black design is quite impressive, and the 55-round drum magazine stands out. It has a high rate of fire and significant recoil, making it a formidable weapon. If you're a fan of the PPSH gun, this mod is worth adding. Lastly, I'd like to introduce some texture-related mods. Specifically, I'll highlight a few creations by Half Faces. First, the wood box replacer enhances the mesh and textures of wooden boxes in Fallout 4. This mod replaces the mesh for both Woodbox 01 and Woodbox 01 Clean, providing high-resolution BC7 textures. The best part? There's no ESP file, so you can install or remove it at your convenience. Also, regarding the wooden barrel replacer, it provides an alternative for the wooden box. In addition to the wooden box, this mod offers a replacement for the wooden barrel. For the Federalist chair retexture, it enhances the Federalist chair by adding high quality, colorful cushions. These replacers can help improve objects in the Commonwealth. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest Fallout 4 mods for the first week of June 2024. We hope you found some exciting additions to enhance your gaming adventures in the Commonwealth. Remember to subscribe for more updates on the latest mods and gaming content. See you next time, and happy modding!